Hello everyone and welcome to the same game. We'll be getting started here in about five minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. Please be sure to share and like the video. Pop yourself into the comments and just say, hey, what's up to the panel? We'll see you all in about five minutes. The video. Pop yourself into the... Same game will be getting started here in about one minute, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you're enjoying what you're about to see, which you haven't seen yet, but I'm sure you'll enjoy it, feel free to let everybody else know about what's going on and tell them about our show. Thank you so much.
Hello everyone and welcome to the same game. It's like the match game, only the same. Please welcome tonight's panel, Randy Lucas Hunt. Aero, Eric Darrow Lucas Worthley. Amy and Jaja and Lucas. Julie Lucas Sinkoff. Mel Lucas G. And Mr. Colon. And your host, John Lewis Lascaretz. Hey, everybody. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Awesome. Excellent. Uh, hey, Lucas, I, I've been curious ever since, like, uh, b before the show, you, you showed up a little late. What, what was holding you up? Um... Uh, I was I was eating ice cream. <laughs> you know, I just went through a heat wave, so I'll accept that wow. as a proper answer. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the truth. I was eating ice cream. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Julie, how are you doing? I'm doing wow. great. Are, are you uh, wishing that uh, maybe you had some ice cream? I do now. Yeah. I'm a little I'm jealous. Yeah, I know. The rest no, of us have... were here on time. <laughs> we're all going to be thinking of ice cream. And Pretty much, yeah. Not liking yeah. Lucas, the rest of us, for not sharing. I get it. You didn't bring well, any What would have been ruder? Him, like, like eating in front of us or uh, or just showing up late? Yeah. Mel, what's your thought? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not choosing sides on this one. Switzerland. Although ice cream sounds amazing right now it does right uh well since there's controversy around uh what we should think of lucas then uh, maybe <laughs> we should just introduce our our contestants for the night sure <laughs> did we lose matt what happened to matt oh matt, matt says he lost, lost his, his audio. audio the show okay. must go on well i tell you what i will introduce them because I happen to know them. Uh, yeah. First, we Woo! have Amy Pepper Milstein. Ooh. Yay, Amy. And we have Hello. Mike Hello. Anderson. Woo! Hello, you two. Welcome to the show. Uh, eventually, Matt will show up and be able to be our uh, illustrious uh, voice. So, um, you guys uh, had the practice round. I believe and... I'm back in my back. I believe you are. <laughs> Wow. Sorry about that. Apparently, with my second monitor being a television, it changed all of my speakers and microphones being a television, <laughs> which doesn't even Fancy. have a microphone. Yeah. And now when you talk, Jaja's mouth moves. That's how it works. It's me, <laughs> Jaja, the puppet, in our ventriloquist act, Jaja Thew. Wow. Amazing. I couldn't Let's see his lips it. move at all. All right. Are we ready to begin there, Matthew? Whenever you are, you're the host. All right. Through an ice uh, Amy, uh, I heard you won the coin toss. So, uh, Ooh, for I finally, I won something. I'm going to build on this. Go ahead. Excellent. Good plan. Game one, round one. Would you like option A or option hey. B? Hey. Okay. Option hey. A. Finally, a Yankee candle for Nebraska. It smells like blank. <laughs> well, our uh, panel will be writing down their answers, and so you. Need and while to they're doing that, I'd like to take a moment again to thank everybody for showing up and joining us. I didn't plug it earlier, but all of our shows here at the Fresnel Theater, virtually, are brought to you by contributions from viewers like you. If at any point in time you feel like, hey, I'm enjoying this enough to give it 99 cents, come on, you spent that much on cookies and cookie crush, why not go ahead and visit us on Venmo, PayPal, or through your credit card. All the links are available in the comments section. Back to you. Thanks. All right, Amy. Uh, looks like yes. people are finishing up there. Um, so I didn't plug it earlier, but all of our shows here at the Fresnel Theater <laughs> virtually. Uh, I'm having a moment of deja vu. How about you guys? I am trying to figure out what's going on with my mic settings. <laughs> I did an update, and now it's going crazy. 
Today is a comedy of errors as far as audio goes. All right. Uh, that you know makes your audio sound crisp as a big bowl of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> oh and goodness. nothing yeah. sounds wider than saying ice cream tastes crisp. <laughs> we had just forgotten about that, Lucas, and now we're going to all dwell on how you showed up late because you were still eating ice cream. Yep. All I'm right, enough dwelling. Amy, yeah. finally, a Yankee yeah. candle for Nebraska. It smells like blank. I only know one thing about Nebraska. It smells like flat. <laughs> smells like flat. Okay. Flat. Well, that's not what I was expecting, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Sounds like flat. It's, it's very that cynicetic flat, of you. Right? Flat. How, how very flat. cynicetic of you. Yeah. Flat. Although, flat. I guess that could be a Nebraska thing, too. All right. Well, we I will start. It. Okay. We'll start with Julie. Do you have a same for Amy? <laughs> did you write flat? I wish I did. My answer's also four letters long, but I wrote corn. 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 Yeah. yeah. Corn grows on flat land, but. It does. You know, does it? It is a lot doesn't, of corn. It doesn't count Nebraska. as an answer. Uh, Lucas, um, are you on time with your answer here? Yes, I am. Uh, it's also right. four letters. I also wrote corn. Corn. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mel, what did you write? I got. I had to be like bougie about it, so I put corn husk. Oh. <laughs> well done. Uh, Randy, what did you write? Uh, honest to God, I almost wrote flat. <laughs> Scout's honor, but I didn't. I'm sorry. Well, Randy. I instead wrote nothing fancy. <laughs> <laughs> that smells like candle. Which, which could be the same thing. It's <laughs> flat. It's flat. Yeah. Nothing like fancy. Uh, Eric? Oh, I, I think it's very close. I wrote down early Bruce Springsteen. Album. <laughs> <laughs> Singing's a little flat. But, uh, the judges are thinking you know. about that right now as I desperately text Pat Short to see if that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll find it out. It's a very comedic album. It's a very comedic album. Jaja. Hi. Finally a Yankee Candle for Nebraska. It smells like... Isolation. <laughs> <laughs> you don't it's know like, Nebraska until you drove across it. Well, that does Honest. not sound like a saying. <laughs> yeah, but you can be with friends in a flat area. Just saying. But no one's your friend in no. Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, you awesome. don't have a lot of them. There's the uh, for this week. Did the judges come back with a ruling on flat? <laughs> versus, Pat still hasn't uh, told me about it, but if it does, we'll give her a point later on. All right. So, uh, Mark, you are, uh, you need zero to tie and one it or might be more to lead. Uh, so, Mark, your option is B. Hmm. Ooh, here we go. Dumb Donald was so dumb. How oh, so dumb, dumb was he? he? He thought Cockney was a blank. No. Dumb Donald was so dumb he thought Cockney was a blank. Wait, can you? He thought what? Cockney. <laughs> you know Cockney? what? What? Yeah, Cockney. Hello, like, uh, George. Like, uh, this is a Cockney. Did you ever see accent. Mary Poppins and what Dick Van Dyke oh, attempted to do? Yeah, Cockney. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I was I just messaged by my sister. No, cockney. I was just messaged by my sister, who her and her wife live in Nebraska, um, <laughs> saying that all of those answers are acceptable, but none of them fall flat. So <laughs> apologize about oh. that. And I also want to apologize to the state of Nebraska, where their legit tourist <laughs> slogan is, Nebraska, it's not for everyone. <laughs> That really is, really is their actual tourist slogan. That rock. Right. Yeah. Wow. Like it's it's good to be self-aware, you know. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was Nebraska. We're kind of like Alaska. <laughs> because Alaska. we rhyme. Because of the Aska, yeah. <clears throat> Alaska later. All right. Well, it looks like uh, all of our panelists have pretty much written stuff, except maybe 
Lucas, who's still sucking down some ice cream. Uh, Mark. <laughs> He's literally sitting there with his answer in his hand. <laughs> dumb Donald was so dumb, he mm-hmm. thought Cockney was a... The bendy part of a rooster's leg. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, a, a rooster's leg joint, so to speak. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ja ja, you know, you know a thing or two about animals. I'm sure, being a monster yourself. I didn't know a lot of animals personally. I That's just knew awesome. some baby goats. Ah, so uh, w- what is your answer to uh, what Dumb Donald thought Cockney was? Chicken leg. Uh, that's, judges. That's the same. That's the same. Uh, Randy. Chicken's knee. Oh. Chicken's knee. That's two sames. Julie. Yeah. Hey. Rooster's knee. Uh, the rooster's Whoa. knee. Three. Mel. It's a jackpot, man. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I put a British bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have three. Uh, Lucas? A plastic surgery procedure. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. I don't feel bad about that. Unless you're doing that on a rooster, that is not a sin. (laughs) Nope. Eric? A chicken joint. Chicken joint. Oh, as we're not talking about cannabis, I think we're talking about the same thing. It's the name of my new restaurant. (laughs) It's the chicken joint. Mark, you uh, clearly won that round with uh, four against zero. Mm. 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 For this next round, Mark's going to go first since he's in the lead, and he could yes. only try to same with oh. Mel G and Lucas. And then afterwards, we'll go to Amy to try to beat the score to see who will win the first game of same game. Back to you, John. Thank you. Uh, okay. Mark, would you like option A or option B? I'll do B again. All right. Option B. TGIF has been updated for millennials. It now stands for Thank God for It's Blank. TGIF, (laughs) both a restaurant chain and a uh, idiom for Thank God It's Friday, has been updated for millennials. It now stands for Thank God It's Blank. Who's this? No. Uh, this is for Mark. Only Mel, G, and Lucas have to say, but everybody else can write something down if they want to have fun. Oh, okay. Are, I will. Are you customizing your answers depending on who it is there, Jaja? I would have. Oh, okay. There you go. I'd like to say that this round is brought to you by our lovely partners at Coca Cola. It's not real, but I want them to give me some money. So, Coca-Cola, <laughs> if you're out there, you've got the money. Send it my way. My address is... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it seems like my virus protocol is stopping me from saying that. Hey, uh... Matt, who are our three people who could still match with Mark? We got Mel, Lucas, and who? N- not three. It's just Mel G. And oh, Luke. just two. Just okay. Just Mel. And Everyone Luke. answered. Oh, got four. Oh, we can't. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it looks like they are ready. So, uh, mm-hmm. Mark, TJIF has been updated for millennials. It now stands for Thank God It's Froyo. <laughs> Froyo. <laughs> Falling so like that stuff, right? I love and... that. I love that. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, uh, Lucas. Um, I Froyo, went... it's a little bit like ice cream. Yeah, I went with something similar to Froyo. I said, thank God it's fat-free. <laughs> <clears throat> Froyo's not necessarily fat-free, so that's not a saying. Uh, mm-hmm. Mel, what did you write? It's definitely not necessarily fat-free. However, it is definitely flavored. <laughs> thank God it's flavored. Saying. <laughs> Did anyone else write a funny answer? Un- unlike uh, Nebraska, which is, you know, nothing fancy. But... <laughs> For everybody. It's my favorite drink. Nebraska, it's like my favorite drink from Starbucks. Flat white. <laughs> that was my nickname right. in high school. Yes. No, it wasn't. Uh, 
Amy, that means your option, uh, yes. your, your question is a. number A, and a. you need to a. get four to tie, five okay. to win this game. Let's do Come it. on you. Loki revealed a new heroine this week. Her name is Bread and Butter. She has the power to blank. Loki, which is part of the Marvel Comic Universe and part of the Disney Plus streaming service, popular with those millennials aforementioned, uh, has revealed a new heroine this week. Her name is Bread and Butter. She has the power to blank. The best part is you have the option to match with all six panelists. I'm going to match with all six of them. I feel it. And this round, because why not, is brought to you by Disney+. Plus. Come on, Disney, you got the money. Maybe you should repeat your address so they can send it to you. Of course, the new ad the address that they can send the money to is 342... 14th Avenue, Portland, <laughs> Oregon, 9... Sa Back to you, John. Uh -oh. <laughs> More audio troubles. All right. I can't get a break. <clears throat> Looks like uh, Randy's putting the finishing touches on his drawing. Uh, so, Amy. Yes. Loki revealed a new heroine this week. Her name is Bread and Butter. She has the power to... Spoil your dinner and make you gain weight because you're filled up on her. <laughs> so, okay. spoil your dinner and make you gain weight. All right. She she has the way of, yes, oversaving, <laughs> bloating, maybe, maybe any of those. Filling up on carbs. Good job yeah, with the vague enough answer that it could save a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> way to head your bets. Why are you uh, picking her apart? Because that's what I always do with Wonder Bread. <laughs> And any time I eat a cockney, I love to pick it apart to get all of that juicy, juicy meat. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we're having audio troubles again. Uh, <laughs> Randy, what did you write? Uh, I said, pickle things. Pickle things. Bread and butter pickles. All right. Wow. Uh, Zsa Zsa. Ruin your dinner! Hey, that's the same! Uh, Julie? Melt you. Melt you. Like butter. Not, I mean, it would ruin a lot of things, but it doesn't necessarily ruin really Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eric, what did you write? I think Loki's a uh, pessimist, so I said land butter side down. <laughs> <laughs> there that was That was the thought in my head as well. That's uh, awesome. Lucas? Unbelievably, I said melt you. Yeah! Wow, so you saved with Julie. Yes. Lucas and I are two for two. Twins. <laughs> Twins. Mel. <laughs> All right, so fill you up before dinner is served. Hey, that's two wow. saves. That is so awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, two does not beat four. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, awarded this round to Mark. For this game. Yay. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. That makes the score one game to Mark, zero games to Amy, and destroying marriages to me for the second time. Back to you, John. Ah, oh, swell. Um, yeah, so, Zsa, Zsa tell me about some of these animals you know. Oh, hi. Um, well, I know, uh, I know some baby goats now. One is named Chill, and one is named Airplane Ears, and one is named... What was his name? Nipsy, because he nipped at your hand a lot. And they're very small and noisy. And Chill was very loving. He just pushed his head against me as I, as I pet him. Oh, that's very yeah. nice. Super cute. Goats. Everybody should have one. I, I, maybe I not people in goats. <laughs> Everyone should have one. They're the greatest of all time. You know. They are. Uh, what's up in your neck of the woods, Randy? Um, that's about it. Are you in Nebraska? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, Randy, no. our producers here are saying that you are not plugging a certain channel that people should be following. Oh, that's right. I've heard you've got a podcast. 
I have a couple of podcasts, actually. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about podcasts here. We're talking yeah, about we're not going to talk about that, though, Matt. Channel. We're not okay, going to talk about mind. that. All right. Runs on Scotch on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Eric, what's up with you today? Well, goats are creepy. Oh. <gasps> they do have weird eyeballs. They have rectangular pupils. Now, Ooh. I know a guy that was, like, uh, horrendously, like, weirded out by goats and he bought a house that had a goat pin on it and part of the conditions of buying the house was they had to buy it with the goats now he loves the goats and he's doing like urban sustainable farming okay wow so maybe, and maybe wow. i just need to get acclimatized to goats but <laughs> i know that guy <laughs> all right man. No. everybody ready for game two yep all right, here we Almost, go. Almost, I'm uh, still processing the rectangle eyes. <laughs> the I'm good. Goat plumbing system. <laughs> We're good. I just, I just want to know processed. about a goat pit. <laughs> goat pit. Goat pit. I want to go to the goat pit. <laughs> I said goat pen, not pit. No, no I, I pit. want to go pit. I heard, I heard pit. pit. Yeah. Also. Yeah. pit for yeah. goat the goat pit. pit. I want to go to the goat pit. Bad. <laughs> I feel like that's like a ancient Roman amphitheater thing that when they yeah. weren't doing like the chariot races there was like a side goat pit where there was yeah. other fight well the goat pit the kids. would be much better than the pit of despair because it's yeah, the for the kids <laughs> for the kids that made me so happy <laughs> all right have we have, we have we done enough dwelling on uh rectangular goat pupils pit. Yeah, we have. I think Randy just checked their watch. Back to you, okay. John. Yeah. All right. Uh, game two, round one. Mark, you won game two, so you get to choose A or B. Let's do A this time. All right. A, here we go. To keep up with current trends, the reboot is called The Devil Wears Blank. Many one more time. The Devil yeah, Wears Blank. Right. Okay. Right again. Many of us have seen the movie The Devil Wears Prada. Uh, okay. um, but to keep up with current trends, the reboot is called The Devil Wears Blank. I don't know what the current trends are. <laughs> I have somebody new coming in to read copy for our new ad sponsor. Go ahead and come on in here, uh, Michaela. Hey everyone, it's me, Michaela. I'm here to plug our newest, hottest nightclub, The Goat Pit. You're going to come in here. You're going to love it. It's the greatest of all time. It's The Goat Pit. You're going to enjoy our bar. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Michaela. It's not for You're kids. You're welcome. All right. Woo! <laughs> Looks like people are getting their answers in. Randy's shaking his head. Mark. To keep up with what? current trends, the reboot of The Devil Wears Prada is called The Devil Wears Blank. <sighs> uh, Under Armour. <laughs> Under Armour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was coming up blank. That, that, that changes the tone of the movie quite a bit. Yeah. All right. We'll, uh, we'll start with Zsa Zsa. Okay. Um, I didn't say Under Armour. But I did oh, use okay. a word that's fun to say. Skechers. Skechers. It is kind of fun. Skechers, Skechers, Skechers. Oh, where's Skechers? Skechers. Uh, Julie, what did you write? Yeah. I said, uh, the devil wears Poshmark. That, that's not <laughs> under armor. Not really. I was like, it was just a really delayed yeah. response. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Eric? Got you. I am well known to be a, a fashion expert, so I know for sure it is the devil wears Kaha. <laughs> <laughs> and he's from Boston. <laughs> Lucas. Oh, I'm sure this is still trendy. Uh, the devil wears Gucci. Yes. Not the same as, as Under Armour. A little different, uh, yeah. No. Nope. Randy. Uh, this was probably trendy maybe a decade or two ago, but the yeah. devil wears Spanx. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, kept that yeah. in that gut. As, as we all age, yeah, it all becomes inevitable. Mel, what did you write? 
Mel? Leggings as pants. <laughs> <laughs> also, another thing to do is comfort Jeggings. when you just don't care anymore. Hmm. Uh, yep. So, we got no sames on that round. <laughs> Amy, this is your chance to jump out ahead. This is it. Uh, yeah. Yours is option B. Everything B. was B. Everything B. was going well at the B. potluck until Dracula showed up with blank. You know, because you invite Dracula to potlucks. Who doesn't? He never shows. Guess I gotta hold him later. Everything was going well at the potluck until Dracula showed up with blank. We have another sponsor, John. Do the it. sponsor right now is Vorpi. It's the Comedy Sports Worldwide Virtual Championship. Be sure to check it out at your local comedy sports. Available in 25 cities around the world. In such far off places as Manchester, England, Portland, Maine, and Detroit. So if you ever find yourself in one of those cities, you may enjoy it. But also enjoy us online through our virtual championship. For more information, go to cszworldwide.com. And I'm saying Z because I have a problem with my Zs. You also mentioned Manchester, and that's how they say it. Yeah, well, Braun gave me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Just say Manchester. A dollar or a pound? I don't know. Pound of dollars. Yeah, a pound would be more than a dollar right now. So I don't know the metric system. Back <laughs> to you, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Amy, everything was going well with, at the potluck until Dracula showed up with... A keg of blood. A keg of blood. Okay. Yes. Or a second vision. Uh... All right, let's uh, start off with you, Mel. Oh, uh, well, I, I wasn't kegging it up, but I did say blood sausage. That was exactly where my head went. One is an eating thing, one is a drinky thing. Uh, Randy, what did you write? I said he showed up with a negative attitude. <laughs> yes. And with that, Randy is on the board and in the lead for fire <laughs> points. That's good. Well done. Uh, not a save. Eric? From the land of Zed and Pound. Blood sausage. Blood sausage. Yay, you saved with Hey! Mel. Uh, Lucas? We're on a similar train of thought here. Blood sausage. <laughs> All right. Julie? Yep. I also wrote blood sausage. Oh, wow. this is my mom. This is and I bet you Amy oh. wished she said blood sausage. Shaza. I so wish. Shaza, what did you write? <gasps> blood sausage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have had five blood sausages. Shaza has oh. amazing handwriting for only having four fingers. I'm Better say. than my handwriting. I, I just want to point out that I did have blood pudding and I crossed it out and changed it to the <laughs> other <laughs> one. Same thing. Blood pudding. I almost wrote blood pudding. pudding. Almost did it. All too. right. So we had no scores in round one. That means everything's tied up going into round two of game two. Uh, since uh, I'm going to give it to Amy because nobody scored mm. in that. So I'm going to flip, flip who, who gets to go first. <laughs> Real quick, uh, before you want we go A into this B. round there, John, um, yes. let's talk about what the winner receives tonight. Oh, that's right. The winner right. will receive so a portion of the proceeds from tonight's show to the charity of their choice. So be sure to donate and contribute through all of our links available in the comment section. You could Venmo us at Fresnel Theater. You can go to paypal.me slash Fresnel Theater or go to tinyurl.com slash Fresnel Theater donate. And a portion of tonight's proceeds will go to the winner's charity of choice. So let's figure out what charities our, our players are playing for. Back to you, John. Amy, uh, what charity would you be playing for tonight? I'm going to play for the cat adoption team. They rescue cats and kittens, and it's where I got my cat. It's oh, nice hooray. Cat. What's your cat's name? Clyde. I know. That's, that's what I wanted you to say it. Uh, and Mark, what uh, charity will you be playing for today? Yeah, Mark. Well, you stole mine. Uh, <laughs> what's your cat's you can name? You play for the same charity if you'd like. 
He's also called Clyde. Imagine <laughs> that. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I typically default to Amnesty International. Nice. Yay! Excellent organization doing good work. They're, they're both excellent organizations doing good work. And because... all those charities can also be found at the comment section of this video if you would like to do, an, uh, do a donation yourself. So please check out those links in the comment section. And back to you, John. Thank you, Matt. Okay, round two. Would you like uh, option A or option B, Amy? B. Okay, B. Chili's is offering a vegan option now. Chili's baby back blank. I, I, I can't... I haven't been to Chili's in years. I used to work across the street from a Chili, so it was where we often went to lunch. And then I don't work there anymore, so there you go. Uh, I don't even know what's on their menu these days. They probably have vegan options. No? Well, on that note, Chili's is offering a vegan option now. Chili's baby back? What, Amy? Broccoli. Broccoli. Baby, baby back, back. I want my broccoli. baby back broccoli. That's fun. <laughs> so, uh, would it go with the song that well? I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Sure. Okay, broccoli, right. broccoli, 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 <laughs> broccoli, broccoli. <laughs> I want my broccoli, 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 broccoli. <laughs> Come on. You all wrote broccoli. All right. Help me we out. We just would like to Daja. take this moment to point out to Chili's, no. if you want to give us money, you can. <laughs> Jaja, what no. did you write? Did you write broccoli? No, I, I wrote bib lettuce. <laughs> kind of rhymes with rib, nice. right? Yeah. Bib, bib and rib. Uh, Julie, what did you write? Yeah, I did... Uh, Baby back tofurkey. Mm. As many syllables as broccoli, but not a same. Randy, what did you write? Uh, Chili's baby back impossible ribs. <laughs> yes. Going with yes, yes. that's a trend. Times. I'm in. <laughs> Mel? Oh, I, I was kind of on the uh, same wavelength as Julie with the baby Yay. back tofu. Yay! Nice. Still no sames. Eric? I tried to think of something that rhymed with ribs that was vegan. I couldn't think of anything. So I went with the alliteration. Hey! There's the same! And with Yay. that, Amy wins. <laughs> or does not win. She's, she's no, pulled no. out ahead. We still have one more question point. to ask. You can uh, do it. Lucas, what did you write? Yeah, I thought they could appeal to the uh, new mom market and offer baby back rubs. <laughs> <laughs> with consent. No. Only with and with consent. Oh, yes. Lucas is tied with Randy. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, you know, it's, it's they, they have a new burping service back, for all the bottomless back. sodas Rubs. and barbecue sauce. All right, Mark. Rubs with barbecue sauce. No. Oh, no. Going into round two, uh, no. you've got to get one to tie and mm -hmm. two to win. All right. Uh, if uh, if Amy keeps this, we go into the tie-breaking round. Um, okay, your option is A. Mm. Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers. As in Mr. Yes. Whiskers. Ooh. A cat was just elected mayor. His first action was to outlaw blank. Can you read that again? Yes. Mr. Whiskers, because I know Matt wants me to say it that way. Mr. Whiskers... A cat was just elected mayor. His first action was to outlaw blank. Thank you. That's all I wanted in my life, John. You, you really did <laughs> want me to read Mr. Whiskers that way, didn't you? <laughs> Misty Mixers. Misty Vistas. Misty Vistas. Are we still having audio problems, people? Whisker Miskers. Yeah. Mr. Whiskers. Misty Vista. Whisker right. Miskers. that on Zoom. Milky Whiskers. Well, I think we're just waiting for uh, Lucas to stop mixing his ice cream. And, 
<laughs> Don't get a paper right. cut on your tongue. Yeah, really. Mark, uh, we're ready to throw this to you. Mr. Whiskers, a cat, was just mm-hmm. elected mayor. His first action was to outlaw... Dogs. Dogs. Sometimes the obvious answer is the right one. Uh, okay. Uh, Randy. That is such a good answer. So much that I said it. Yay! Dogs. So we've tied it up with dogs. Uh, we'll go to Eric. Mr. Whiskers is a quite noble gentleman. and he wants I can't to wait to see this. Saying Mr. Whiskers. With <laughs> 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 that, I can currently announce Eric Doorworthy is the winner of panelists for same game. <laughs> All right, uh, Zsa Zsa. Hi. Hi. I said, I forgot what I said until I see it in the camera. Uh, oh. <laughs> ah, yes. Very because timely. he, Mr. Whiskers knows about the fire danger this season. Yeah. Uh, Julie, what did you write? I said nail clippers. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. <laughs> that, yep, I can see that. Uh, Mel. Hey. Dogs. Woo! Dogs, I'm with that. Mark wins around. What did you write, Lucas? Laser pointers. <laughs> How would you outlaw them? They're fun. They're All annoying. Right, so... You can't catch them. <clears throat> uh, with that, Mark won game two and game one. He has this won is bullshit. the entire match. What? <laughs> oh, my we're allowed to, say, to that? say that once. No, sorry. We're allowed to say shit. Well, one more time after both of us said it once, before we get demonetized, still can't say the F word. Back to you, John. To a nice oh, final score. This is and malarkey. maybe play the blank one just for fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's play the blank one just for fun because uh, in that round, Mark uh, got two to, to Amy's one and won the game one uh, four to two. So he won both. Or that's however you want to slice that up. Mark won. Like a pizza. <laughs> um, but let's let's do the tiebreaker round just for fun. Uh, okay. Since Mark won, he'll go first. You want A or B? Okay. A. Okay. So this is a one-word match, uh, and we're gonna have everybody hold the, up their answers Oops. all at once. Math. Your question is. <laughs> now we're having like visual. Math. What are you doing? <laughs> is that? <laughs> Audio issues. <laughs> I just want to point out that I completely I rebuilt my computer today. After the show, and then that came up. Uh, so, uh, sneak <laughs> preview for the after show bits. I, I just want to point out that I completely rebuilt my computer today, took every component out and put it back in, and I'm not having anywhere near the amount of computer troubles that Matt's having. <laughs> well, if you want to know something, Randy, <laughs> you, you could go... You, you, uh, Oh no! Trumpet. You're full of shit. That's my third time oh, using hey, that. Third third time. I love you, Lucas right. Hunt. Give me money! <laughs> okay, Mark, your clue is central blank. Central blank. Hmm. So you're going to try to get as many sayings on this, and people are going to hold them up uh, when we count one, two, three, or ready, set, go. And you, Marks, get ready. Whatever. Wait, that looked like half a screenshot, Matt. <laughs> what do you mean half a screenshot? I may have accidentally clicked definitely... share audio, uh, share portion of screen as opposed to <laughs> share audio sound. <laughs> it's something that happens, and I apologize. And I okay. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Yes. I forgive you. My arm's tired. Thank you, Jaja. Your forgiveness <laughs> is the only thing I want. And I know that Amy's arm is getting tired, so let's finish the game. All right. Okay, Mark, what do you say to central blank? Air conditioning. Central AC or air conditioning. Okay, contestants, on the count of three, hold up your answers. One, two, three. We've got park, America, city, park, station, park. <sighs> East Coast. No ACs. Oh. I, I was with you, Mark. I was thinking AC. <laughs> you uh, had me hung up on one word, and I was like, I thought it could be like a thing that fits, so I didn't fit it. Oh, I was saying it's a, it's a one-word clue. 
Got it. Yep. So, on the next one, if you want to oh. put something, it's just got gotta, it. It's just got to flow in order. All right, Amy. Here is yours. Uh, you can you can beat Mark in this round just for the. Oh, I'm gonna rides. beat Mark. Uh, oh, your clue show. is Mr. Blank, or should I say Mr. Blank? <laughs> Maybe you should. No, I think so. Once again, as we're going into our final moments, you've seen all the trouble I've gone through. With your contributions, we might be able to hire a social media and streaming expert to take <laughs> care of the issues that don't happen. Feel free to visit us and donate through any of the links provided. Venmo at Fresnel Theater. PayPal.me slash Fresnel Theater. Or tinyurl.com slash Fresnel Theater. Donate. All also, right. if you would like to donate to either the charities that were mentioned tonight, Amnesty International or CAT, those links are also available in the comments. Back to you while I feel myself with personal regret and doubt that I will fall asleep and then think about and wake up randomly. Back oh, to no. you, John. All right, Amy, what do you say yes. to Mr. Blank? There's so many options outside this room, but since we were all here together and we all heard it, I'm going with Mr. We Mr. Whiskers. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers. Okay, Mr. Whiskers. Is that Whiskers. you, Sophia Vergara? <laughs> <laughs> is that you? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> nice um, to meet you. Yes. All right, panelists, no. the answer is Whiskers. On the count of three, hold up what you wrote. One, two, three. I see Magoo. Whiskers, Whiskers, wow. Whiskers! Yay. We got three Whiskers and a T and a Rogers. And a T. Yeah. Not a single clean in there. All right. With that, Amy like would have know. won in the tiebreaker round. Instead, she just won <laughs> in the extra throwaway round. Fine with that. that being Fine said, thank you so much for joining us tonight, everybody. We'd like to thank our panelists, Randy Lucas Hunt, Eric Darrow Worsley, Julie Sinkoff, Lucas Cologne, the wonderful Amy Gray and Jaja, Mel G. Our host tonight was John Lascarutz. I'm your announcer, Matthew Russell. And our second place contestant tonight, give it up for Amy Milstein and our winner, and the winner in all of our hearts, and we wish him a safe evening at home, Mark Anderson. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for joining us. We're, we enjoyed ourselves. I hope you did as well. Good night, everybody.